Asalaamu Alaikum and welcome back to Mushmin Sports and MAMT 2019. I'm joined here by two of Birmingham's uh, biggest superstars on the volleyball front. Uh, so hopefully we'll ask them a few questions, see how they're progressing and how they fancy their chances. So first of all, uh, it's probably worth you guys introducing yourselves. So um, who are you and where are you from? Uh, my name is Abbas Haider Lalji, I'm from Birmingham. Uh, Zain Nakvi, also from Birmingham. Okay, guys, and uh, just a quick question around MAMT, first of all. So you guys have obviously visited loads of, uh, loads of cities and towns around, around the UK and participated in MAMT over the years. What's your biggest sentiment and, and feelings around MAMT and, and generally how, how you find it? To be fair, I, I passed, participated myself in football yesterday and just in general, like the atmosphere, the buzz that uh, Birmingham and College have created together uh, is amazing. You can just see like environment around. Even today in the volleyball area, everyone's there's a smile in everyone's faces. Uh, everyone's he, literally not just come to play sports, but come here to enjoy themselves. And you can just feel a sense of you know livelihood around the whole place, which is really good. Fantastic. And of course, this year it's being hosted here in Birmingham. Um, and I think the last time we hosted it was in 2013, which was about five six years ago. So it's been a while since it's come back around. Um, Zane, for you, what, what are the biggest things that you have to think about when you're organizing a, uh, a tournament of this prestige and, and looking to coordinate things well? Um, there's a, I think a lot goes into the organization, but it's uh, just about getting everyone here and making the venues uh, feasible for everyone to kind of attend. Uh, um, and it, it, it creates the atmosphere that boss was talking about, that unity, that livelihood, the togetherness. And it's uh, one of the, the part of the slogan of the 2019 MAMP, you know, compete, unite and inspire. And I feel like uh, this, this venue uh, inspires and obviously everyone's here together, no matter obviously Birmingham, Stanmore, Haythery, whatever we are, but we're all united on one front and we're playing together. So I feel like a lot of the organization goes towards that. And I think that Birmingham's done a brilliant job. Brilliant. Yeah, no, I, I completely uh, share your sentiment on that and, and feel that it's been a real team effort to organize all of that uh, to make sure it is a success this year. I'm sure it will be as well. And the early signs are obviously very good. We're about halfway there. Uh, so we'll continue to strive and make sure that that ha does happen and go accordingly to exactly how it's been planned out. Um, so, gents, obviously on the volleyball front, you know, it's, uh, it's probably uh, and debatably one of the most popular sports that's played at MAMT year in, year out. Uh, and of course, we have uh, this time uh, at Mount a number of teams that have entered. Yourselves, of course, are playing together on, in one team. Um, what do you, how, how, how do you prepare for a tournament like this, where obviously you feel, you really feel the need that you want to go in and do your very best, but also you want to try and make sure that you bring home some silverware as well? Um, I think preparing for a tournament, especially when it's in your own city, it's slightly different because you've got added pressure that, you know, you're, playing, you're basically playing in your home, as people say, and, you know, we want to bring some silverware home. But I think the best thing to do, which we found is in, in our own experience of, well, of years of playing, is just, you know, not add any pressure to yourself. Just stick to what you normally do. Stick to your normal game. Just remember you're here to participate first, and then whatever happens on the day, just let it, let it flow by itself rather than try and, you know, force something upon yourself. So for me, that works for me anyway. Just, I just like to... I think it's another day of playing and just go ahead like that. Okay, interesting. And I imagine that's what the team talk will consist of as well um, before you get things no, started no off. <laughs> no team talk. No, yet. yeah, no. Yeah. So I suppose, uh, you know, first thing tomorrow morning, you guys are stepping out on the court. You know, the, what I do want to call out from a Birmingham perspective is there's no pressure on you guys to go, obviously, and, and, uh, and win a trophy. But of course, the important thing will be to enjoy yourselves represent Birmingham to the highest standard that you possibly can and if uh, inshallah you know there is some silverware on the end of it then uh, then yeah absolutely bring it home um, Zane uh, if I was to ask you two or three words I know you've mentioned obviously the slogan but is there anything other than those that you think really represent the spirit and ambience of MAMT in particular um, I think uh, competitiveness um, and the word you mentioned there, spirit, there's a lot of spirit, there's a livelihood around here, there's, you know, you can see it around, everyone's buzzing, everyone's feeling it, there's an atmosphere, um, so everyone looks like they're going to be enjoying it, and uh, uh, the other thing is brotherhood, um, brotherhood, like, you know what, whatever happens, you know, it always gets heated out there on the court, but at the end of it, we all walk away as brothers, and that's the most important thing, so brotherhood's a big part of that. Even, like, small measures, well, like, small, like, even stuff, I was, when I was driving here, 
I've seen the little signs saying map this way, stuff, even stuff like, just small things like that. Like, people don't understand, that makes a big difference in, to any, like, even, imagine you, as a kid, like, seeing that, like, thinking, wow, is this where I'm playing? Is this, is this what I'm participating? How you'd feel as a child? And it makes the olders also feel like a child as well, like, wow, this is like, yeah. this is something now. This is, it's not just a memorial tournament anymore, like, 100%, it's, we're there to remember Mulaska for sure. But I'm glad that we've taken, in his honor, we've taken it to another level which is what I think MAMP's been needing, and I think Birmingham have done a great job in doing that, 100%. Absolutely, and you know, the, this, this, the one thing that everyone seems to be talking about this year is the amount of art, uh, entrance, participants, um, the sheer number of spectators, guests that we're hosting as well this year. You know, it's, it seems like it's a, it, again, it's more than a tournament, it's more of a festival spirit at the moment. And it does seem like it's going to grow year on year from here onwards as well. Um, so I, I presume the challenge really will be to try and make sure that everyone is accommodated in future. Um, and as you guys have obviously been involved with some of the preparations for MAMT this year in Birmingham, is there any advice you can give to any future communities looking to host MAMT, apart from obviously what you've just mentioned about maintaining some of the spirit levels, doing the little extra bits that get people really thinking about um, the fact that they should be taking pride in being uh, part of MAMT as well. Zane, for you, I think, maybe. <laughs> um, advice, what advice could you really give? It's, uh, it, it's difficult, I think it's just the, the spirit of unity, and I know I've already mentioned it, and I know you said not to, but I think it's the, that's the most important thing about this. So yeah, like you know, he said it's a, it's a memorial tournament for Mola Oscar and, 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 and so on, but at the end of the day, it's all about the spirit of unity, and this is something that everyone, every, every little boy, every adult, us lot, we all look forward to it. Every year, we can't wait for it to come. We prepare a whole year, training, practice, everything, just to come here and play. Um, so it's just to, to, you know, to maintain that spirit of unity, like, you know, everyone's involved, everyone's there, and it, it just makes it special. Brilliant. Well, chaps, thank you very much for joining us. Um, wish you all the best in your campaign. Um, inshallah, you will both, um, you know, have a great chance of being crowned MVPs, no doubt. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we'll see you around. We'll catch up with you and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have a chat after the tournament's finished now. So all the very best. And again, thank you very much for joining us. Okay. So guys, there you go. You've heard it from the future MVPs of MAMT 2019. We are going, going off with a bang here in volleyball um, at the moment and looking, really looking forward to getting these and watching these guys on court. Make sure you uh, tune in on the live stream online if you're not here to witness some of the magic that these guys are going to bring to the court. Thank you very much. Just logging off for now. We'll catch up later this afternoon.